We start from the road sector today and specifically the Oshodi Ouro-Shokia Jota Expressway, which is the major link road to the nation's busiest seaport of Apapa and the Tinkan in Lagos State. The 32 kilometers road has been in a state of disrepair over the past few years due to neglect by previous administration and failure to expand when it was recommended in 2015. But today, the road is getting the required attention through another initiative of the Buari administration known as the tax incentive model which gives tax break to companies who will expand on infrastructure and will later be deducted until finally defrayed. The major partner of the Buari administration in this venture is the Dangote Group, a group or uh, a move the Minister of Power Works and Housing Babatunde Fashala said will be extended to ensure the nation's bridges its infrastructure deficits. He also added that the road will also be the first of its kind with concrete pavements which will ensure that it lasts for between 45 to 50 years. Join us on the journey of the flag off of the vital economic road. This is the Apapa Oshodi Oworon Shoki Ojota Expressway. It was the pride of the nation upon completion after a three year period between 1975 and 1978, with three lanes in each direction in its main carriageway and two lanes in its service lanes. It serves as the major connection between the east and western senatorial districts of Lagos State, but essentially is situated in Lagos Central Senatorial District. It is also the major road that evacuates goods and serves the nation's busiest seaports of Apapa, Tinkan, and the Murtala Mohammed International Airport. Following use over time, the road had fallen into a state of disrepair, with it being in the news due to the gridlock created by heavy duty vehicles who have taken over several roads in Lagos due to the absence of an alternative to the road. With the promise by the federal government to ensure that such roads get the required attention, and the award of the contract earlier in the year, Minister of Power Works and Now Simbabatunde Fashola says it is the fulfillment of the change agenda by President Muhammad Buhari. This road and this Tinkan Alan port was built between 1975 and 1978. At that time, in 1978, I was 15. Now, 40 years after, this road has not expanded. It has not been reconstructed. It has just always been passed and moved on. But it takes one man's commitment, one man's good heart, one man's good will and determination to make the kind of investment that is now being made here. It is President Muhammad Buhari. He added that the reconstruction of the 32-kilometer road will be on solid concrete pavement devoid of asphalt, which will ensure that the road lasts between 45 to 50 years before deterioration and with minimum maintenance costs. On behalf of the President, I am happy to come here today to announce the flag off of the construction of this road from Creek Road through Liverpool Road joining all the way to Tinkan and all through to the toll gate in Urushoki. Uh, that construction is supposed to take two years but the Dangote group promises us that in a period less than that, they will do their best to finish it and ease this pain. And Alaji Dangote will come and speak to that more. Now, when we started the procurement process sometime this year, this government is building the foundation that will release the economic prosperity and the employment issues that all of us are talking about. For his part, the partner of the federal government on the project, the president of the Dangote Group, Aliko Dangote, the project will be delivered before the two-year period specified for its completion. A new down that will alleviate the sufferings of Nigeria, especially companies that have lost so much revenue as a result of the state of uh, all this road network, which they are built over 40 years ago. I'm sure more than 60% of the people standing here were not born at that time. Permit me to also 
assure you, Your Excellency, that DIL will restore hope and the economic power of this business hub. On completion, I'm very, very positive that the revenue of not only the Nigerian Port Authority, all our own revenues will quadruple. So it is very important road. We will make sure we pay attention to it. In their separate goodwill messages, the Lagos State Governor Akin Wume Ambodi, the Senate Committee Chairman on Works, Kabiru Gaya, and the Senator representing Lagos Central, Olure Mitinobu, they commended the federal government for the decision to attend to a pressing need which should have been addressed a decade or more earlier. That means we are going to excavate everything all the way from Mapapa to Oshodi, Oshoki, and Ojota Expressway and actually reconstruct it using the concrete uh, 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 platform rather than using the asphalt that is normally used. And you know, because Lagos is uh, below sea level, when you use asphalt mostly, in seven years, eight years, those things wash away because we are actually underwater. So the concrete template is what is being experimented here to give us a long-lasting solution to this Apapa gridlock, and this road will last for more than 40 years. It's highly over, uh, cannot be uh, overemphasized. This is a major route. We just came in now within the short stop of about half an hour. We took us, I mean, there are so many vehicles, fine line. Therefore, there is kind of concrete road. I would advise the Honorable Minister that for all our future roads in swamps areas to be done by concrete road. Congratulations, Dango Tech Group for Company, for coming up with this idea of having concrete road. We need it badly in Nigeria because after 10 years, most of our asphalt roads are gone. On behalf of the good people of my constituency, the Lagos Central Senatorial District, Lagosians generally, and other Nigerians that travel this route on a daily basis, thank the APC-led federal government and the Federal Ministry of Power, Works and Housing, headed by our very own, that is here, His Excellency Babatude Fashola, for attending to this very important road. It will reduce the stress of, the, of commuting for us all. Lastly, I must also appreciate Mr. Messrs. Dangote Industries Limited for this laudable partnership with the federal government. I hope that other organizations can emulate this initiative. The designer of this project shall ensure that specifications and standards are complied with during construction. We design a concrete paved road with stone base and adequate drainage with street lighting. Concrete road construction is presently being, being pioneered in Nigeria by Dangote Group which initially may cost a bit more, but we have a, minim a minimum maintenance cost. A properly constructed concrete road has been known to last for more than 40 years, as compared with 25-year design last panel, asphaltic concrete road. While I congratulate the government of Nigeria through the Honorable Minister, I wish Mr. Dangote Group a successful project. For members of the Residents Association and other stakeholders within the corridor, the road project could not have come at a better time.